Hey folks, Misha here. As you continue into the hollowed woods of M, I would like to teach you all where, how, and what you need to begin and complete the Storm in the Hollow Woods questline. For those of you who are not aware uh, what completing this quest awards you, you will obtain the full Windshadow outfit for guys and a sweet custom dress that I created for the females as well. On top of this, you'll now have access to fight Captain Windshadow, as you'll see in a couple minutes here, who has a chance to drop the legendary Storm Sphere grenade. Quick disclaimer, this questline is only available for pirates at or above level 40, as the opponents you will be fighting in this quest can reach levels of up to 55. As well, make sure to have empty inventory spaces in your clothing if you wish to keep any of the outfit pieces obtained through this questline. Firstly, upon completing the first quest, Haunting in Hollowed Woods, you'll be starting part 2 through Richard Silveridge, not Anne Gold Silver. Talk to Richard and start the quest Storm in Hollowed Woods, and let's get going. After you've headed back to Hollowed Woods, we're going to rendezvous with Myrna, the ghost of the Hollowed Woods Gypsy. She's going to ask you to speak to the tattoo parlor owner, Adam Goodprice. Goodprice is then going to turn around and ask you to defeat any seven skeletons in the Hollowed Woods area and deliver the bones back. After doing so, you will then need to visit Jonathan Fairbanks in the decrepit shop near the entrance of Hollowed Woods. Fairbanks will task you with playing Undead Poker, which, if you've already done the Haunting in the Hollowed Woods questline, you will know is directly downstairs from the NPC in the same building. You can sit down and get a simple 500 gold, or you can try and get 1000 gold in a setting for an additional reward consisting of a crossbones headband. After you've completed this step, head back to Myrna at her gypsy cart. She'll then ask you to locate her corpse, which is found underneath the caved-in mines below the river basin in the area. Trace my steps on screen to get there if you are lost. You're nearly there. After returning the essence from her remains, Myrna will ask you to cover an additional 10 voodoo essence from Jumbie enemies in Hollowed Woods, which can be found on the western end of the area surrounding the Town Hall building. Head back and talk to Myrna once again, and she will ask you to go back to the hovel that you entered for the first quest, and once again to kill the Watcher, this time for her essence. Finally, the spell will be broken, allowing you to enter the Town Hall. It's time to defeat Captain Windshadow. Windshadow is a powerhouse of a boss. Using grenades as his main source of damage, he can wipe the floor with a level 50 in mere seconds if you aren't careful. So seriously, bring a friend or some guildmates to help take this guy down. Additionally, attacking Windshadow will aggro his two Voodoo Master minions at the bottom of the ramp he sits on, so be aware that you might need to focus down these two enemies before attacking Windshadow, as the combined damage may be enough to take you and your crew down. After you've taken down Windshadow, head back to Myrna to obtain the Windshadow's Ostrich, in my opinion, the best part of the set. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the Storm in the Hollywoods questline. Loot at your heart's content once again for Windshadow's exclusive drops, and best of luck.